Okay, so let's nip one thing in the bud here before we crack on. Yes, there is some Infinite Warfare gameplay in the background. No, I haven't repurchased it again. When I sold it, I said it was going to stay sold, and I swore blind, and I've stuck to that, that I'm never going to buy it again. Now, the reason I have a copy of Infinite Warfare is because I work with a chap who had a spare copy, and we were having a moan about it, and uh, he turned around and he said, ah, do, you, do you want it? Do you want to buy it off me? I'll, I'll sell it to you, and he was going to sell it to me for £10. And I said, no, 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 absolutely no thanks. But if you really don't want to hang on to it, then I'll quite happily borrow it off you um, just to get some Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay. That's all I wanted to do. And he was happy to do that. Now, in getting some Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay, which I have actually quite enjoyed Modern Warfare Remastered, still not as good as the original, I don't think. I think there's style over substance, you know, that, that's the thing for me. It's more, let's style it out, let's make everything more beautiful instead of concentrating on the important thing, which is playability and fun and things not being a bit too crazy. But going on to Infinite Warfare, I just thought, I'm going to go back and see if it's okay. Because I remember when I talked about the problems with Infinite Warfare and there was a lot of comments in there because I said oh I've been, I've been playing it for a month or so and people were like how can you make a judgment a snap judgment like the one you've made based on a month's worth of playing it's not right it's quite hypocritical so I thought instead of having that I suppose lack of backing for my theories I'm gonna go and I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna sit down solidly I'm not gonna upload for a couple of weeks I'm gonna put the time and effort into Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare and I'm gonna give a valid decision on what makes the game unplayable and what my problem is with it I suppose um, and maybe the thing that has made so many people say Ah, that's it, I'm done, I'm done with this, this is not for me anymore. So it's safe to say that I've put the time and effort and sort of commitment into it to make a valid judgement on the game and I feel that the real problems in Infinite Warfare, for me, threefold, is where the problems lie. The first one being is the maps. The maps are all fucked up. Oh, the, the maps are just so wrong. You know, compared to Black Ops 3, I thought Black Ops 3 had it okay. At first I had a problem with the Black Ops 3 maps. Then I got to understand them, and then I got used to them, and they got I got familiar with my surroundings. With this, I just can't get familiar with my surroundings at all. It's the typical, uh, you know, Infinity War thing of clusterfuck maps, too much going on, too many things, too many things scattered about, too many boxes, too much stuff floating and blowing past your face. The maps are too crazy. There's too many areas for surprise attacks. I don't like that. I don't like to be shot in the back. I like to be aware of what's going to happen and have some understanding of how the game's going to run. That's what I call skill. That's where skill comes from. It comes from it comes from within. It comes from an understanding of how to deal with the situation that's thrown at you and adapting to your surroundings and being able to pretty much adapt to any situation. That's where the skill element of gaming comes in. Crazy things just happening and people, you know, teleporting towards you and having bloody sentry guns around every corner you turn and invisibility and speed. It's just, it's just too crazy. And the maps don't allow for that to be something you can control. People just appear at the side of a building, at the top above you, from the floor. It's nuts. And that doesn't make it very fun. And it takes a hell of a lot of getting used to. After playing for a couple of weeks, I am starting to get used to the maps a little bit. I've been playing Team Deathmatch Reinforce, is it Reinforce Team Deathmatch? Where it's more boots on the ground, you can only do sliding and wall running. But that said, my biggest problem with that is because the people that play that want to A, stick to the boots on the ground, and B, they just don't like flying and being too surprised, so they like to stay in a corner and camp you out or stand behind a box. So maps are not doing it for me. The second issue with it is the gun variants. Constantly, I go on these, you know, the gameplay I'm using in the background, I don't think I do too bad, but most of the time I find when I get beaten, oh my god, so many times I creep around a corner and it feels like somebody shot me with a bow and arrow, or somebody shot my head clean off with a, with a sniper rifle, and it's like, oh my god, what, oh it's the purple variant of the MV4, or the yellow variant of the MV4, what is it, Fallout and Haste? That R.E.K. All my fucking life. If anybody has been unfortunate enough to get shot by the yellow variants or the purple variants, I haven't got them in front of me, so I don't know what they are, but you know, the yellow variants or the uh, or the purple variants of the R.E.K. I think it's wrecked. It's called wrecked. You got wrecked. Fuck me. You couldn't <laughs> you couldn't have put it any clearer. You did get wrecked by the uh, the strong variants of the R.E.K. Oh my God, it's so overpowered. Yes, I'm using that word again. It's overpowered 
to hell. So the guns are a little bit imbalanced. That takes me on to my third problem, and this is my biggest one, the snapping of the game. There's so much snapping where, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's say you start a game off and you go and you kill one guy, you kill two guys, you go three, four, five, everything's going really smoothly, people are running at you, they, it's almost like they have no awareness of your existence and you're just popping them down one by one and it feels beautiful, it all flows smoothly, you actually start to feel like you're really enjoying yourself and then all of a sudden the same guy that absolutely had ten thumbs all of a sudden wrecks you with his wrecked. <laughs> And then that's it, you kind of die about 10 times and it's almost like you've just completely lost the plot and don't understand how to play the game. And then things pick back up, you start to go on a bit of a gun tear. I don't like that inconsistency, you know. I've found with a lot of Call of Duties in the past, you either have one really good game and then when you go into the next one, things are totally different then. I've never really experienced it during game like this before, where it just snaps from one experience to the next. That for me is totally fucking wrong, you know, it, should, it needs to stay consistent. If it goes on to the next game and then things are very bad, whether it's due to bad host, bad connection, then you can just leave, you can make that valid decision to leave and choose the next server or just try again. But as far as this goes, it changes in-game and that for me is where everything is wrong. So those are the three things that for me make this game very bad and are screwing it all up for me and that makes me very displeased. So I will go ahead and carry on playing Modern Warfare Remastered and I will further upload some of that and talk about that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that gameplay and I will see you again. Apocalypse done.